everyone and welcome to another episode of Obsessed Designs. I'm Princess Masong, Head Designer and Creative Director at MAS, Masong Architectural Studio. I have been in the design industry for three years, but my family has been constructing buildings, houses, and renovating spaces for as long as I can remember. Well, I believe it runs in the blood and this is my time. Stay with me as I share some of my project reveals, practical advices, and challenges every designer faces in this industry. I am Zess, and I'm obsessed with design. For today's episode, we are going to... So before we get into the video, let me show you first how we designed this studio condominium unit. Our client for this project is a bachelor who is also a law student. He sent us these requirements to guide us in the design process. Now let me show you the rendered perspectives of our design. Tung plastik ya, para dek mau ke. While decorating, let me also give you five tips on how to make your small space feel bigger. Tip number one is monochrome. Making the walls, furniture pieces, and even the decors in the same color but in different shades could make the space look harmonious and without boundaries and distractions. Tip number two is oversized art. Large pieces of art could make the room feel grand and luxurious. Tip number three is mirrors. We always hear this advice and it is because it works. Mirrors make the wall look like there's more space behind it. Tip number four is proportion. Choose the right scale of furniture pieces for the size of the space. A large couch in a small living room could make it feel like cramped. And for my last tip is draw the eyes up. One way of doing this is putting up ornamental lighting fixtures in the ceiling. Another way is to put a floor to ceiling curtains. So here's a recap of the five tips on how to make your small space feel bigger. If you have more advice, share them in the comment section. Now let's get into the walkthrough with our clients. Uh, Nikon for with bronze. Then, the curtains is much lighter. Lang. Um, and next is uh, wall color. Yes, we have here a um, uh, night frame. And then, the mirror. Actually, it's the actual. It's not the 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 So, yeah, we decided to use the for uh, your laptop drawers. It's about the book. It's the storage. Yeah, we do have lights. It's like the study material. It's the work that is illuminated. And for the mom, the quality mom, the makeup mom, the ready to go to the And then lastly, the cabinet. Sliding siya. And then here, na atay um, para sa hangers and shelving sa babaw. And then for your uh, undergarments, na sa atay drawers sa ubos. Yeah, ang kanin sa pikas, if you notice, mas kwan siya, mas nipis ni siyang apart. 
Pero kanya siya service. Or kanya na kanya sa mga activities. Kaya namin ka na luggages na mas nagkok. Stops na mas nagkok. Pwede siya nga ma-adjust. But mas nipis ni siya nila because namin siya yung column na rin sa likod. Namin namin yung morgan. Oo. Ang bed na to is double size. I think kanina space kay Apple naman siya sa para ma- for circulation. Takat ng queen. Or nako na lang kayo. Nako na talaga ng queen. Gamay na lang kayo ma- kung ano niyo. Parang matakilid na mo din kay if queen. Wala na mo. Before makabli. Lagi. And then this is sofa bed. So if na mo yung visitors, pwede yun. like this project and how we designed it and how it turned out if you did please let us know which part of the project is your favorite in the comment section below as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye